Okay, guys, welcome to the calculating density video. Uh, I'm going to walk you through the Nearpod. For those of you that missed the lesson and give you the examples that you need to be successful. This video is actually in the do now and I've also shared it in the folder, so I'm not going to watch it on the slides. What is density? This is an important thing for you to remember. Density is the amount of matter given in a given space. Density is a physical property because it can be observed, measured without changing the object. Density can be used to identify substances because no two substances have the same density. Density does not depend on size or shape. The density of a single substance will remain the same no matter the sample size or shape. This is a density triangle. It's very important that you memorize this. You can also copy it down. This image is also in the folder. Um, you can copy the triangle down and the formulas down to use on your tests. I noticed that in some of the exit tickets that we did when we talked about displacement that a lot of you were not measuring from the bottom of the curve. The bottom of the curve is here. The bottom of the curve is here. Some of you guys were measuring from here, the top of the points. The bottom of the curve is here. As you can see, this is in twos, 4.2, 4.4, 4.6, 4.8, 5. So the bottom of this curve is at 4.8. Here, 5.2, 5.4, 5.6. The bottom of the curve is at 5.6. When you do the math, the difference, or how much the water level rose after the dinosaur was dropped in, is 0.8 milliliters. This is very important for your test. You guys need to, there's a video on how to watch displacement in week six, day two. It's also in the CBA review folder. So now I'm gonna do some practice problems with you guys. I'm gonna teach you how to do density problems. So your problem is up here, a block of aluminum occupies a volume of 15 milliliters and weighs 40.5 grams. What is its density? The first thing you're gonna do is look at the question. You know, it says, what is its density? So write the letter D and a question mark because that is what we're looking for. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is draw a density triangle. Yes, you're gonna want paper and pencil for this and your test on Friday. You're gonna to wanna to want, you're gonna want paper and pencil anyways to take notes. So DMV, if you watch the video for the do now, you know what this is. You put the division signs here. You put the multiplication sign here. If you're looking for D, you wanna cross D off of your triangle and circle what's left. So what's left is M mass over volume. And that is what we're gonna do. So we know we're looking for D, so there has to be a mass written in the problem. So the block of alumen occupies a volume of, oh, there's the volume. So the volume is 15 milliliters. So write the number 15 on the bottom, draw a line, and weighs. Grams is mass, so this is your mass, 40.5. Yes, you can use a calculator on the test. There's a calculator that is built in to the Schoology system. Um, so you'll be able to use a calculator on the exit tickets and the tests. And I let you use a calculator when calculating density because even though we're doing math and science, um, you still are allowed to use a calculator during science tests, not during math tests. So you type it in 40.5. And as you know, that line means division divided by 15 equals. And then you got your answer. So your answer is 2.5. Seven. Now, if you're wanting to do the units, you can see here that the 15 has an ML beside it and that the 40.5 has a G. And all you do is circle those units and then it's G slash ML, milliliters, okay? Let's clear this out and do the next example. So again, the first thing we're gonna do is look to see what the question is asking. So if you go to the very end, you see the question mark, go back and it says, what is the density of copper? So we know we're gonna be looking for density again. 
Again, I know this seems redundant, but always draw your triangle. It just keeps you, um, it keeps you in your place and it helps you know what you're doing. These are division, this one is multiply. So if we're looking for the D, we're gonna cross off the D and circle the leftover. So you know that we are looking for M over V equals. So there's got to be a mass and there's got to be a volume in this problem. A rectangular block of copper metal weighs. So here's your gram. So that means that's your mass. So it's 1896 grams. Okay, draw your line. Now, I don't see the word volume, but look at this word right here, block. Essentially, a block is a cube. And how do you measure the volume of a cube? Length times width times height. So these three numbers represent length times width times height. So 8.4 times 5.5 times 4.6 equals. Again, you can use a calculator. You're going to have a calculator on your exams in Schoology. 8.4 times 5.5 times 4.6 equals. And you're going to get kind of a big number, and that's okay. 212.52. So then you want to write that number up here. 212.52. Two. You're going to want to clear your calculator, okay, and then you're going to want to type this in, 1896, we know that that line means division, divided by 212.52, and it's a big number, but what I want you to notice here is that we are going to round, so when you round, what you want to do is we only round to two decimal places. So you'll have this and two decimal places. So remember that you wanna to look to the number to the right of where you're rounding. And if it's four or less, let it rest. If it's five or more, up the score. So this is a one. So this number right here is gonna rest. It's gonna stay the same. So 8.92, okay? Let me clear my drawings and let's do the next example. So look for the question, what is its density? There we go again. We are looking for density. Again, I know it seems redundant, but the triangle is just to keep you in your place and help you remember what you're doing. So D, M, V, remember that these are division and these are multiplication. Cross out the D, circle what's left, M over V. So we're looking for a mass and a volume. So let's read the question. An irregularly straight shaped stone was lowered into a, oh, it was lowered into a graduated cylinder. So we're probably gonna be doing displacement. If you remember displacement, you wanna take this, the starting volume and subtract that from the final volume to get your density. So let's look for our starting volume. The irregularly shaped stone was lowered into a graduated cylinder holding a volume of water equal to 12, two milliliters. So our starting volume is two. That's where it started at. The height of the water rose to seven milliliters. So that's your final volume. It rose to seven. So how many milliliters did it go up by? It went up by five. So our V is five. Now let's see if we can find the mass of the stone is 25 grams. There it is. 25 grams, that's your mass. And all we gotta do is divide, and then your answer should be five. I wanna show you too what this looks like in graduated cylinders, because you're gonna see an image on the test of a graduated cylinder. So let's just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, 
So this means that the water level looked like this. The bottom of the curve is here, and that is two milliliters, okay? After the rock is dropped in, the water level rose to here. That means the bottom of your curve is here at seven milliliters, okay? If you're doing this on a test, oh, and I did this wrong. Um, let me erase real quick. I'm sorry, your curve should have been here on this. If you're doing this on a test, you're gonna wanna mark this all the way over. Then all you have to do is count up. One, two, three, four, five. The water level rose five milliliters, meaning that is your volume, okay? Please do that right. I noticed a lot of you did it wrong on the exit ticket. It's gonna get you in trouble if you don't. Okay, clear drawings, let's do the next one. We're gonna start out by looking for the question, which would have the greater mass, five centimeters cubed of silver or five centimeters cubed of gold? Oh, so this problem is actually having us look for a mass and it's actually having us look for two different masses. So write M1 equals question mark, M2 equals question mark. We're looking for two masses. So let's draw a triangle. This is why you always draw your triangle. Okay. D, M, V. This is division. This is multiplication. Since we're looking for M, we're going to cross it off and circle what's left. So we are looking for density times volume. Density times volume. So let's see what we got in this, in this um, problem. Silver has a density of 10.5 grams. Okay. So we still need a volume. Uh, gold has a density of 19.3 grams. Okay, that's our second density. We still need a volume. Okay. Which would be the greater mass? Five centimeters. Okay, so when you see this say centimeters cubed, that's going to be your volume. So our volume is five for silver. And this say, oh, look at that. Centimeters cubed of gold. So gold is also five. So what you want to do here is take your calculator, plug in the numbers. So we got 10.5 times 5. That's going to be 52. And pardon my drawing. I'm not very good with a mouse on this thing. 5.2.5. Um, let's plug in the other numbers. I'm just moving my calculator around here. 19.3 times 5 is going to be 96.5. And just so we know, this one was silver. You might want to mark that on a test when you're taking it too. And this one was gold. Okay. And our question said, which would have the greater mass? So we want the larger number. Which one of these numbers is larger? The gold. So there you go, there's the answer to your question. I'm gonna clear the drawings. I'm gonna go to the next one. Again, we wanna look for our question for which liquid is denser? So we're actually, since it's saying which liquid, that means we're gonna need two densities. And let's see which liquid, that we have ethanol. And we have benzene. So there's our two liquids. Again, pardon my handwriting. It's not that great on this thing. Okay, so we're looking for two different densities. Again, with the triangle. D, M, V, remember division, multiplication. So we cross out the D and we're left with M over V. So we need a mass for this one and a volume for this one. We need a mass for this one and a volume for this one. Five 
five milliliters of ethanol has a mass of 3.9 grams. So 3.9 is going to go on the top here with ethanol. Let's keep reading and see if we can find the math of benzene. Five milliliters of benzene has a mass of 44 grams. So your mass is going to be 44 for benzene. All right, now we need the volume. Anytime you see milliliters, that is also volume. So this is five milliliters. And then your benzene also says five milliliters of benzene. So again, you have two problems here. So you're going to want to pull up your calculator and do the math for both. 3.9 divided by 5 is equal to 0.78. Then let's do our next one. Clear the calculator. 44 divided by 5 is 8.8. .8. Let's read the question again and see what we were looking for. Which liquid is denser? When it's denser, that when it says denser, that's going to mean that density, the density is more. So which density is more? Well, between these two numbers, benzene's density is higher. So that would be your answer. Clear the drawings, and that was the last example. If you have any questions, please, 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 please feel free to email me or message me in um, Schoology. Thank you guys. Have a great day.